I literally just got books in the mail, but I'm getting ready to go to the bookstore. So let's spend some money today. Hey y'all, if you're new here, my name is Beamy Queen and today we are going book shopping. Let me get dressed and we're gonna go to one of my favorite independent bookstores here in LA. We are at the last bookstore, which is a cute little plant bookstore shop. I absolutely love it. Today, I wanna get four books. I think I'm gonna hold myself to four. My book rule is that I have to buy at least one black owned book. I typically go over, so that shouldn't be a problem for me. My book goal this year was 52 books, one book for each week, and I severely, severely dipped. As in, I did not read for about three months. <gasps> so I'm really trying to pick up the pace and make sure that I can hit my goal for this year's. I feel like independent bookstores normally have really interesting books that I don't typically see in Barnes & Noble. So I'm hoping I can find something a little bit unique today. The entrance always reminds me of like Narnia, but with plants. So this bookstore has plants and they also have birds and you can kind of hear them in the background as you're shopping. I know y'all hear those birds. I found this bookstore before I even moved to LA. I visited it one time and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna come back here every single time. I absolutely love it. It's built like a maze. So all the bookshelves lead to the center, which are thrillers and mystery books. And there's a lot of titles that I really hadn't recognized or hadn't seen at Barnes & Noble before. So it took me quite a while to find books that I really wanted. And I got stumped at this section right here because there were so many romance novels and most of them were black authors. So I looked at just about every single one and then I was like, you know what? Stop picking out so many romance books. You need to find a thriller. But I did end up getting a ton of romance books this time around. And since I'm a full-time creator, I can do things in the middle of the week, in the middle of the day. So I was basically the only person in this bookstore the entire time that I was here. You can buy books and you can also buy the plants that they have on display, but I really like this really comfy couch they have next year. My friends always say that I have an angry face when I'm reading, but that's just my focusing face and I'm really into the books that I'm looking at. I also didn't notice until the very end their new release section, which was right here. But right before I got my books, I sat on the couch and reviewed everything and then I made my purchase. I am back with my sushi tacos and my books. Let me show you guys what I got. So this book haul is very romance heavy, which I'm not usually a romance reader, but I've been reading a lot more romance lately. I will say three out of the four are by black authors, so go me. All right, let's get into it. So I first got Play to Win, and this is about a divorcee, or soon to be divorcee, who is getting bought out of his marriage. But a woman wants to get divorced, the man does not. But he comes to a lot of money and he offers her either to stay in their marriage, so he wants to win her back, or if he doesn't win her back, he will give her a big chunk of money. I love money and I love this. So this immediately stuck out to me. I was like, okay, I need to read this one to see if he makes it rain or not. So we shall see. Next one is Seven Days in June. I've seen this book all over Instagram. I am always super weary of Instagram books, like Instagram popular or TikTok popular books because they, for the most part, they don't live up to their standards, at least to me. Like I always have high expectations if everyone's talking about it on the internet. And then when I read it, I'm like, ugh, that wasn't, that wasn't what I wanted. Anyway, I got this book because someone told me on Instagram to pick it up. So if you're not really following Instagram, you should. But I'm gonna read this and see if I like it. If you've already read it, let me know what you think in the comments because I'm really curious to see what people think about popular book talk or Instagram books um, if you haven't heard of it though it is about um two people so that's another romance so a man and a woman that meet unexpectedly but it is years after they have had this secret whirlwind of a romance over the course of seven days so that's where the title seven days in june comes from so they have this past that they never actually share with anyone but when they meet again in the present they are then re-exploring to see whether or not their love was actually true so yeah don't know if i will like this one but someone recommended it to me and i take your recommendation seriously so i will try it out but for you guys okay i haven't eaten all day so i am gonna take a nice little chunk out of this uh sushi taco oh my gosh i think i'm breaking it no I normally don't eat my towels like that, but it was already breaking, so I'm sorry. Mm. 
I got it on my face. Okay, next book. This one was a used book. And that's why I really like independent bookstores because they will offer you used books and at a severely discounted rate. I got this for $5. So it's called The Good Buy Line. It is about a library assistant whose best friend unalives herself. And she ends up writing her friend's obituary instead of giving up on the case and writing it off as a commitment of unaliving her friend actually starts to unveil different facts about the case and about the situation that may point towards something other than unaliving so she's really trying to uncover the truth about what actually happened to her friend and how she ended up dead alongside one of her co-workers who is just really interested in true crime and wants to help her out so it's very interesting at least based on the summary i'm expecting there to be a lot of feelings mixed in with having to uncover the truths about her best friend's death so this is going to be a really interesting one this is the only one i got that is not black owned like i said it is used so i got it for five bucks and i'm happy about that and the last book this one is probably the most interesting to me so i will probably read it first out of all of the four this one is called devon and chris plan a wedding so this is about a couple who is faking their relationship so they are trying to convince their friends and family that they are getting married in six weeks i can only imagine how this is actually going to happen the reason why they're trying so hard to, to fake their relationship is because they are on a reality tv show where the cash prize is a hundred thousand dollars so i was being offered 100k to fake a relationship with someone i would maybe consider it i would i would maybe given the circumstances i would have to look at all the facts but I think I would consider it. So this one's gonna be really interesting. It is it's like reading a reality TV show and I am a sucker for reality TV. I have been keeping up with the Kardashians for the last 20 years. Like, I'm not even kidding. I actually have, it's, I'm not proud of it, but I will watch some reality TV. So in an attempt to get me from watching TV to reading more books, I will be reading this one. I think I am gonna read this one first. I think I am. I have not seen this book anywhere. I haven't seen it on the internet and I haven't seen it at Barnes and Noble. So I'm really happy that I came across it and I'm gonna be reading it and letting you guys know what I think in a future book review. That is all for today. I'm gonna finish the rest of my sushi, sushi tacos. But if you guys wanna know what else I'm reading, Hit the subscribe button and you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.